Welcome everyone. Uh, I'm going to tell you why you should not vote at the national level. And then I'm going to tell you why that is the best and easiest protest there is if you're fed up with uh, what's going on in DC. First of all, the overwhelming majority of national political candidates are selected, groomed, and financed by the rich and powerful, the oligarchy. Uh, there's little doubt of that, uh, given our history, uh, political history here in this country. Politicians serve the rich and powerful. Uh, they don't serve us. We don't have a representative government anymore. Uh, example, uh, free trade agreements, so-called. Uh, NAFTA. Uh, who is in favor of NAFTA? Well, Democrats and Republicans. Uh, CAFTA, same thing. Uh, the upcoming TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, Obama's pushing hard for it. McConnell is pushing hard for it. Now, these uh, free trade agreements, uh, just look at their track record in the past. Uh, NAFTA cost us one million jobs. Uh, these agreements serve the rich and powerful. They don't serve the rest of us. A and yet, the politicians keep voting in favor of them. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, in a previous uh, video, I gave another example of how we're not represented anymore. Uh, back uh, in the beginning of the 2008 crisis, uh, TARP was proposed, Troubled Asset Relief Program. 80% of the American public was against TARP. So what did Congress do? Well, first they defeated it. They didn't pass it. But then they were propagandized by uh, Hank Paulson, uh, former CEO of Goldman Sachs, and uh, Ben Bernanke. Uh, and so they passed it even though 80% of the public was against it. We don't have a representative government in this country anymore. Now, why is not voting the best and easiest protest? Well, first of all, it's not against the law. You're not going to get arrested. Uh, you're not going to get uh, uh, pepper spray or mace sprayed in your face just for exercising your uh, right of assembly and, and right of free speech. Uh, you won't get arrested. You won't get tear gassed. Uh, it's completely legal. Uh, I don't know how you can beat that for a protest. Um, I remember uh, in the in the fairly recent midterms, uh, just after that, Obama, in a press conference, uh, as a kind of a conversational aside, made the comment that two-thirds of eligible voters did not vote in the midterms. Well, my comment to that is, too bad it wasn't three-thirds. That would have sent a powerful message and that message would have been we're fed up with you neoliberals especially at the highest levels you you so-called Democrats and Republicans who who really are all neoliberals we're fed up with you get the hell out we're done with you so please uh, for the sake of my son and daughter-in-law and grandkids don't vote in any national election. It will send a massively powerful message to
to these uh, neoliberals in D.C. Okay, that's it. I appreciate you dropping in, and uh, please be well. See you next time.